sit on down. Sit on down. Thank y'all for coming out. Listen, y'all in for a good show, man. This comic right here. You've seen him. He got so many credits. You've seen him on The Neighborhood. You've seen him on Narcos Mexico getting locked up. You've seen him on all so many other things. You've seen him around town. He's killing it around country. Start clapping right now. Make it very loud loud for Greg Wilson! <laughs> it is. <laughs> you know you're short when the audience stands up and I'm on a stage and we're barely looking eye to eye. That's how you know you're short, motherfucker. <laughs> you guys all stood up and I was like, we're still the same height that I have a stage. <laughs> you know what the thing is? I'm short. I don't ever realize I'm short. The only time I realize I'm short is when I see another short motherfucker. <laughs> That's the only time, because I see him, and I'm like, look at that tiny, wait a minute. Are we looking at that eye? Is this how fucking short I am? Why did anybody fucking tell me that shit? <laughs> I'm glad we're back, man. Look at us, look at us. This is fucking great. I love this, man. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. I mean, that was a fucked up year. We all did weird shit. <laughs> you got so not all of us handled the free time very well. <laughs> I grew this mustache. Now I feel like every room I walk into, I should just be like, I'm Mario. <laughs> I'm Mario. I'm driving the car, I'm out of the monkey, I'm Mario! I love America! America number one! I come here to, um, how do you say, what are the words? Como se dice? How do you say, um, fuck the pussy? I love to fuck the pussy! America number one for the pussy, oh yeah! You have all the different kinds of the pussy? Oh, I love it. I like the black pussy, let's go pussy. Always with the question, who pussy this? I think it's yours. Thank you for letting me to use it. I love the brown pussy, Latino pussy, let's go pussy. You have to be very quiet. Children, right in the next room. <laughs> I don't like the white pussy though, I don't like the white pussy. Too many rules. Don't go here, don't go there, where are you going? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really stupid. Um, I can tell by your face, she's like a shame for me. She's like, mm. You should try the white pussy. It's I have a friend. She lets everybody use it. You should just... Check with her. I hope they're... This isn't supposed to be a child-friendly show. <laughs> well, this is a rough time, man. We came through it, though, but that was weird. I gotta tell you, during that whole thing, I didn't think I could be more addicted to this than I already was. Right? <laughs> But then, with nothing else to do, I just spent all day... <laughs> what are you doing? I couldn't get it. I didn't take one shit without this. Right? Even if I forgot it. I would have my pants, like, down, and I'd be like, oh, oh my god, what am I doing? I can't shit without my phone. <laughs> What fucking year is this? <laughs> Shit without your phone. <laughs> Which, why do we even still call this a phone? <laughs> right? I don't know about you, but being a phone is like number 17 on the list of shit I do with this. <laughs> right? Think about everything else you do with this more than use it as a phone. 
<laughs> right? Texting and email and taking pictures and doing social media and playing music, checking your bank accounts, buying shit on Amazon. It's all of a sudden, brrrring. Oh my God, it's a fucking phone. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Why are you calling me? <laughs> you could have texted this. <laughs> and by the way, being a phone is what this does the worst. <laughs> it does everything else better than be a phone. <laughs> You ever been out in the middle of nowhere and the map still worked, but you can't make a call? <laughs> we gotta stop calling it a phone and just call it what it really is. God. <laughs> no, this is our God. It is. You don't believe me? You ever lose it? <laughs> right? And all of a sudden you're just like... <laughs> oh my God! Where the fuck is my phone, you guys? Check your back seat! Check your back seat! Someone fucking call me! Someone fucking call me! You will lose your mind! Because God is missing! And there are many paths to God. There's many paths to God. There's Verizon. <laughs> That's like Christianity because it's certain it's the best. <laughs> I love it. Some of you are like, wait a minute. I'm a Christian. Are we supposed to be on Verizon? Then there's AT&T. That's like Islam, because it's legit, but I don't exactly trust it. <laughs> and then there's T-Mobile. That's like Scientology, because nobody takes that shit seriously. <laughs> Which, by the way, is it too late to get a little keyboard that's in alphabetical order? Like, why didn't we ever try that, right? That's not, we're all doing this typewriter shit. And look, I'm with you, it's too late. We've all gotten way too fucking good at this to go back now. So now, we should just teach children the alphabet in the order that it's on the keyboard. Right, think about that. All you gotta do is rewrite the song, right? Q-W-E-R-T-Y-U. <laughs> I O P A S D F. Join in. G, G H J K L Z X C V B N M with me. <laughs> Thank you for applauding that. You have no fucking idea how hard it was to memorize. <laughs> It's okay. It's impossible, man. Fucking try it. <laughs> try it on the way home. Fucking try it. You'll be like, oh, I can do it. That's like I can do it. I can do it. That's like here we go. Q, 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 okay. Q, Q, W. Fuck it. That guy's a genius. That's your... <sighs> Last year was weird, man. And I know every, I, I'm so glad the pandemic's over, and I know you are too, but I gotta be honest with you. I'm being honest. It's kind of living my best life. <laughs> it was pretty much exactly the way I was living before the pandemic. Only now, I didn't feel guilty about it. Right? I was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean I need to lay on my couch and smoke weed? <laughs> and watch TV to save the planet? Motherfucker, I've been training for 30 years! Send me in, coach! You're looking at Captain Nap Time! 
Before I would lay there, I'd be all guilty. I'd be laying there all the way. Uh, I should probably go to the gym. <laughs> Not during the pandemic. You can't go to the gym. It's a crime. <laughs> I gotta lay here and stimulate the economy. <laughs> Order some fucking Postmates and shit. <laughs> gotta keep the wheel spinning, motherfucker. Remember at the beginning though? Remember at the beginning when COVID was like the boogeyman? <laughs> right? We're all locked in our houses. Just like. <laughs> it's out there. Fuck <laughs> you. Shut the fuck up. It's gonna hear you. The COVID's gonna hear you. COVID gonna get you. Did anyone else ever think that they gave themselves COVID? <laughs> I can't tell you how many times in the beginning I would like sneeze and then like rub my eyes and be like, oh my God, I did it! I did everything they said not to do! I COVID! <laughs> did anyone else treat their clothes like they were radioactive? <laughs> Remember that? You'd go out, you'd come back, I'm like, well, I'm not taking this to the house. Burn that shit. <laughs> Fucking COVID. <laughs> Remember the first time you saw that Amazon delivery window that blew your fucking mind? <laughs> right? I ordered some shit. I was like, babe, the wipes are coming. Yes, yeah, according to Amazon, they'll be here between us. It's March 13th and August 31st. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> And people got real loose with the FaceTimes, right? Just fuck, you can't just FaceTime somebody. I'm not camera ready. You know you're calling. You had time to prepare. I haven't showered in eight days. And you're going to have the nerve to fucking FaceTime me? Fuck your FaceTime! Now we're making our way back. I think we all learned something about ourselves though, right? I mean, that much time, that much weirdness, we all learned something about ourselves. I learned that my wife is my best friend. That's what I learned, it's true. Which before the pandemic, when I would hear some dude be like, my wife's my best friend, I'm like, yeah, because you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> my best friend is Ben, okay? <laughs> That's my best friend. My wife is my wife, Ben's my best friend. You fucking asshole. <laughs> but during all this, I realized that it's true. My wife is, in fact, my best friend because we spent all this time together. We made each other laugh all the time. We checked in with each other constantly, and we never had sex. And that <laughs> is how <laughs> you know you're married to your best friend. <laughs> Everyone knows you can't fuck your best friend because it ruins the friendship. <laughs> Keep wondering though, man. I'm wondering like what are the side effects gonna be, man? We gotta live with what happened as a group and as individuals. What are the side effects like? Ladies, are you just gonna be ripping ass out in public now? <laughs> right, you've been at home free farting <laughs> for a year. <laughs> right, just comfortably walking around your own own <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> COVID, what do you want from me? You can't just reel that back in. The genie's out of the bottle. <laughs> Are you just going to be out in public now this morning? So you guys, <laughs> oh my God. I am so sorry. 
I have a completely untrained asshole. I gotta go home and do some anal kegels. Gotta tighten it back up. I love this couple. I wish you could see them. She was trying not to laugh, and he was fucking losing. Oh, that's you, babe. You're my little free farter. That's what that is. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm, can't, I'm glad we're, we're, there's very few left here tonight. And if it's, you're comfortable in the mask, God bless you. I totally get it. But I mean, I, I'm so glad that shit. Nobody, that was the fucked up thing about the mask debate. Nobody liked it. Nobody put it on. It was like, huh. <laughs> well, why didn't we do this sooner? <laughs> the way it makes my mouth 80 degrees hotter than the rest of my face? <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> now what? <laughs> I have never burped in my own face <laughs> so many times I ate a burrito and then went grocery shopping <laughs> at Ralph's it was the longest 48 minutes of my life just walking <laughs> Steaming my face. <laughs> well, we're back now. We can travel again, which is nice. I uh, got to go home and see my family. Have you guys seen your family since this, right? How great, how, right? You, normally, you're like, oh, right? It's like, you see a holiday coming, you just like prepare yourself, like, here we go. <laughs> you know, see these motherfuckers, they're not gonna, you, you, you leave when you wanna leave. You don't know that. But now, it's like, I can't wait, I miss you. For like 10 minutes, and it's like, okay, this is why I left. No, but it was, it was nice, and, and I got to, um, visit the graves of my father and grandfather. I'm from a, a, a kind of a military family. My grandfather served during World War II. My father served during Vietnam. I served, I served at Applebee's. <laughs> We're not all cut from that cloth. Like, I can't save you. You don't want me in the middle. If I came to save you, you'd be like, great. <laughs> Who's gonna save us? <laughs> but to this day, I don't understand why we send perfectly good American men and women off to fight our wars when we have this incredibly buff prison population. <laughs> Sitting around doing shit. Right? I say, just hear me out, I say we just drop them off. <laughs> and be like, hey guys, go crazy. <laughs> All that shit we said was a crime? We're gonna give you medals for it now. <laughs> and guess what? When you're done, keep it. <laughs> it's yours. You live there now. <laughs> you like that house? That's your house! Go get that house. Right? Think about that. No one would fuck with America again. <laughs> Look at all the damage they could do with a spoon. But imagine if we gave them real artillery. <laughs> right? It'd just be like, hey, Russia, meet Rikers. <laughs> they just want a spoon with you for a minute. <laughs> all right, let's I'm get in some deep waters now. <laughs> I want you to trust me on this next one. Because <laughs> that was the thing. Things have happened since we've been back that I, I there, there were some things that have happened that I was hoping we left. You know, there were things we, you were hoping we left behind the pandemic, but then it happened again, and you're like, fuck. And I'm talking about mass shootings. 
right? I wanted to leave that shit behind. Remember the good old days when a kid would get depressed and he'd just shoot himself? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the days, huh? Time's gone by. And look, 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 don't get mad at me, okay? I'm not the jackass video game makers that trained them how to do it. I'm not the asshole media that turns them into celebrities for some reason. And I'm not their idiot parents who somehow failed to notice that their child was stockpiling automatic weapons. How do you miss that shit? Did you not vacuum his room once? <laughs> but I got a solution. Here's what we need. Emergency pussy response teams. <laughs> here, here, here we go. Right? Like if you get identified as a credible threat, we send in the twat team. <laughs> it's just a van filled with hot bitches. And like one gay guy, just in case. <laughs> and they fuck you and fuck you and fuck you until you love America. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my platform, that's what I'm running on. Tough though, man. Gotta lose that pandemic weight. <laughs> right? We all got fucking fat. I love that other guys got fat too. I'm glad it wasn't just me. Of course, you know what? That's a lie. It's the same weight I was trying to lose before the pandemic. Only now it's got a new name. That's pretty much it. It's fucking pandemic weight. It's not like I was fit. Like, it's not like I went into the pandemic fucking. And then came out like, uh, uh, uh. nah, I was already fat. <laughs> Trying to get fit, man. And by the way, if you're one of those people that use this time to get fit or to get sober, go fuck yourself, okay? <laughs> you did the pandemic wrong, not me. I ate every meal like it was my last and then drank myself to sleep because I'm a fucking American. It's tough, now I'm trying to lose it. And listen, I've tried everything, guys. I've tried everything except diet and exercise. But, <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, don't get it mixed up. I've tried diet and I've tried exercise. <laughs> but good fucking luck putting those together. <laughs> Who has the energy to exercise when you're on a diet? <laughs> Who wants to go to the gym on, where they're like, what? well, for lunch, I had some hummus. <laughs> with snow peas. <laughs> and then for dinner, 12 almonds. <laughs> you can't work out on 12 almonds. <laughs> and that's the other thing, when I work out, I work out like a fat kid. When I work out, in my mind, I'm just earning fast food credits. <laughs> like I'm lifting weights, just like, oh, I'm getting Popeyes after this. Fucking prepaid, bitches, prepaid! I don't even shower first. I put down the weights, go directly to Popeyes. I go through the drive-thru, they're like, would you like coleslaw with that? Fuck your coleslaw! I just worked out. You will give me mac and cheese. Prepaid! And that's the thing, that's the thing. At the end of the day, that's who I blame. I blame food. My food's to fucking blame. How come the stuff that tastes good can't be good for you and the stuff that tastes like shit be bad for you? What's that? Thank you, through the mask. <laughs> She's wearing the mask, and that's all I was, baby! And I was like, I thought you were saying green beans, and I'm like, eh, borderline. So. <laughs> It's true, though. I just wish one time my doctor would be like, Greg, I need you to lay off the broccoli. <laughs> it's killing you. It's killing you. I need you to focus on your Snickers and cheeses. <laughs> be like, I'm trying, Doc. I had a Snickers fondue last night. I'm, I'm doing my best. So 
fucking hard. My family got me a Fitbit. <laughs> Fuck that piece of shit. <laughs> fucking fizzle. Like that's what was between me and fitness. <laughs> this fucking piece of shit telling me to walk. <laughs> that thing it talks to you is like, hey bro, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> Get a little worked up, buddy. <laughs> Fuck that, okay? I don't need a track of my pulse because I don't know about you, but me sometimes, on occasion, not, not, not very often anymore, I'm an old guy, but every now and again, I still like to dabble with cocaine. <laughs> and the last thing I need is a fucking wrist snitch. Fucking eh, 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 eh. What are you doing, bro? It's like, shut the fuck up. And that's the thing, I don't think you can keep a secret. I think it just sends everything back to the mothership. <laughs> you get a phone call from my doctor in the morning like, hey, Greg, is there something you'd like to tell me? <laughs> I don't know, Doc, did I miss an appointment or something? Were you doing wind sprints at 3.38 in the morning? <laughs> well, they don't call it 24-hour fitness for nothing. Well, thank you guys once again. I'm gonna close with this. Uh, you guys have really been a wonderful audience. Thank you for putting up with these jokes. <laughs> I had a lot of time to think about them. <laughs> One of the things I could not think about, I was like, I can't wait to see how the Me Too movement affects R&B music. <laughs> right? I mean, I don't know about you, but the R&B music I grew up on, a little aggressive. <laughs> a little aggressive. Right? The R&B music I grew up on always had that breakdown in the middle where the guy with the deep voice would come on <laughs> and he'd be like, girl. <laughs> I've been watching you all night long. I followed you here. <laughs> And now, <laughs> I got you, baby. <laughs> it's time to lock the door <laughs> and make it happen. You can't say that shit anymore. <laughs> right now, now, if you wanted to do it now, it'd be more like, girl, lady, miss, they? <laughs> I've been admiring you from a safe distance. <laughs> the majority of the afternoon. But now, baby, oh baby, with your permission, I'd like to move in just a little bit closer. But first, I'm going to need you to sign this consent form. <laughs> Initial here. Initial there. <laughs> and sign your whole damn name right down there. And don't forget to date it, baby. This is a legally binded document. Oh no, baby, baby, no, baby, no. It's after midnight. It's the 28th. <laughs> oh, but now, baby. It is time for us to move on to the next part of the two-step verification process. If you could kindly identify all the squares that have a crosswalk in it. I gotta make sure you're not some kind of robot, bitch! <laughs> Thank you, I'm Greg Romero Wilson. I fucking love you guys. Thank you, Comedy Cube. You guys fucking rock. Take care, you guys. Enjoy your freedom. Good night.
This has been a Funny Media Group production.